Alright, so CVRT is a script which makes FFmpeg easier to use. You can use it to convert video files, audio files, images, what have you, and it automates a bunch of stuff which otherwise you'd probably have to write specialized scripts for. Let's take a look at a few basic examples. Here we have video.mkv, it's one of these bouncing DVD menus, and we're going to convert it to an MOV file. We can do that easily by typing CVRT and then our input file, so video.mkv, and then finally, at the last spot, we're going to type our output file. So in this case, it's going to be video dot MOV. So we're running this command, it will start the FFmpeg transcoding process which converts it to an MOV file. Now that this is done, we can take a look at both of our files and as you can see they are the exact same file except this one of course is an MKV file and this one of course is an MOV file. And what you can also do with CVRT is you don't always have to specify an out file name. Of course we could have typed anything for the output file, so you know video that MKV is our input file but we could have called it out file mov or dvd.mp4 or whatever format you want in it. But if you want to automate that as well, you can just type the output format you want. So we can type CVRT video.mkv and then MOV and it will automatically assume the name of the file. And of course, CVRT accepts all existing FFmpeg options. So if you type CVRT video.mkv, let's say we want to scale it. The file itself is, uh, I believe, 1080p. As you can see by this line over here, it's 1920 by 1080. Let's say we want to convert it to 720p. We can type CVRT video.mkv and then dash S for size, that's an FFmpeg option. And then let's say 1280 by 720. We can then type our output file or in this case format, I'm just going to type MOV. And if you run that, we get an MOV file, which is now 720p. If we run FFmpeg dash I video.mov, as you can see, it rendered a 720p file as per our FFmpeg options. Where things get even more interesting is when you're dealing with multiple videos. Here I have three different videos, video A, video B, and video C. Let's say we wanted to convert every single one of these into MOV. We can type CVRT video A, and then video B, and then video C, and then we can type MOV, which will convert every single one of them into an MOV file. And so as soon as we run that, first we get video A in MOV format, then we get video B over here in MOV format, and then of course we get video C over here, also in MOV format. And of course, if you're an expert shell user, you'll already be aware that if you have files that have a specific extension or match a specific regular expression, if you want to be technical, you can type CVRT star dot MKV, which will select every single MKV file in the entire directory, and then type MOV, which will convert every single MKV file into an MOV file. So if you run that, it will begin converting every single one of them like it did before, but with a far more condensed command. Finally, let's take a look at another interesting feature in CVRT. So let's say we have two video files. Here I have dvd.mkv, which is of course that DVD video thing from before. And I also have blu-ray.mkv, which is this little blu-ray bouncing menu. Now let's say I wanted to concatenate these two files, so turn them into one video. I can type CVRT blu-ray.mkv and then dvd.mkv and then specify an output file name. So let's say I want to call it uh, bumpers.mov. It will begin converting and concatenating both of those files into that one single file. Now if we open up bumpers.mov, as you can see it starts with the blu-ray and then at some point in the middle, it switches to the DVD. What we've done is we've concatenated these two files. Also notice that the order it put the video files in is the order we pass them into CVRT. Here we say Blu-ray first and then the DVD. So if we look at this file, it starts with the Blu-ray and then it switches to the DVD menu later. Of course, you can automate this even further. So you could be typing CVRT star.mkv and then say outfile.mov and it would do the same thing where it would select all of the MKV files in the directory and merge them into one massive video where they're all stitched together. If you open up the script, you can set presets for your FFmpeg options. So if I type in CVRT and then dash E, you can edit the CVRT file. Over here, there's a section called custom defaults. Now these are the defaults I include in the script. These are some useful defaults over here. So over here with this case function, you can add your own custom options for the script. So for example, let's say if I was converting to a PNG format, I always wanted the options to contain something like dash S uh, 512 by 512, which means every single PNG I get out 
is going to effectively have a 512 by 512 resolution. Now, if I right and quit those changes, I'm using Vim over here. Here we have a beach.jpg file. This is a file uh, of a beach. This is an image over here. And what we can do is we can type CBRT beach.jpg and then PNG. It will convert it to PNG. And if we open up the PNG file, as you can see, it's by the resolution which we specified in the script. So CVRT E lets us edit the defaults for all of our options depending on the output format specified. So once again, in this case, we went from a JPEG to a PNG. And so it automatically converted the size of the file to a 512 by 512 image. So it basically made it into a square. It made it smaller. But anyways, that was pretty much it when it comes to CBRT. If you want to check it out, there is a link in the description that you can take a look at. Uh, the link for this DVD video thing is also in the description if you want to check that out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video about this very useful script. I've been Denshi. Goodbye.